Who are the Mythbusters? Decrease the mass, we can get more lit. Good idea. Michael Burnt, Afiz, Ahmad Rezwan. Yes! Ah. Together, over 30 years of life, they don't just tell the myths, they bust them. Mr. Wallace, a physics teacher from Forestfield Senior High School, he claims that radiation is completely harmless. Well, that's got to be a hard myth to bust. How are we going to do that? We're obviously going to have to expose ourselves to varying doses of high-level radiation and see what effects it has on the human body. First, I think we should research radiation and see how radiation supposedly damages the human body. Well, radioactive particles are emitted from the nucleus of an unstable atom. It is these particles that can damage the human body. Radiation that emits such particles include alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Yes, although these particles are very small, they move very fast. Even the alpha particles, the slowest radioactive emission, is emitted from the nucleus at 30,000 kilometers per second, or 10% the speed of light. The beta particles, and is emitted at speed up to 90% the speed of light and gamma rays travel at the speed of light. Although alpha particles are emitted at a seemingly high speed, they quickly slow down due to their double positive charge. In fact, they will only travel a few centimetres in air and then can be stopped by human skin. This makes alpha radiation only dangerous if inhaled or digested inside the body. Beta and gamma radiation, on the other hand, can pass straight through human skin. But wait, aren't visible light and radio waves radiation as well? Yes, but those are forms of non-ionizing radiation. Oh, okay. Gamma, alpha, and beta particles are all forms of ionizing radiation. What's the difference? Well, ionizing radiation has sufficient energy to change the structure of the atoms within our body, while non-ionizing radiation does not. Ionizing radiation has enough energy to remove outer shell electrons and break the bonds within molecules to create ions. If enough of this ionization occur, it can be very damaging to living cells and can either kill them or cause DNA damage and mutations. Okay, so basically what happens is, ionizing radiation comes along, bang, 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 ionizing thousands of atoms in our body, turning water and hydroxide and hydrogen ions, removing electrons. These changes cause molecules to react strongly, causing damage to the cell. Yes, and the DNA of a cell could be damaged in such a way that it could reproduce uncontrollably. These rogue cells can grow into tumours and cancers. Okay, so we've done the theory. Now it's time to put it to the test and see what radiation actually does to the human body. Good idea. I've got the Geiger counter. And I got the safety glasses. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, what do we do first? Well, first we're going to have to do a control experiment to see what your background radiation dose is. It appears that your radiation dose is about 2 millisieverts or 0.002 sieverts per year. The sievert is the SI unit for absorbed dose. Essentially, it measures the biological effects of radiation. Okay, how do you feel? I don't feel any different. I'm not surprised. Our bodies are able to tolerate this low level of radiation. It's only when we're exposed to high levels of radiation that we feel the effects. What is this? That is a sphere of strontium-90, a radioactive isotope. How much radiation have I been exposed to? <laughs> You've been exposed to two sieverts. How do you feel? Oh, I feel moderately nauseous. With a really bad headache. feeling sick. That is likely due to the effect of the radiation on your immune system. If you are a pregnant woman, a spontaneous abortion may occur. It is also possible for temporary male sterility. What? What do you suppose the chances of fatality are? There's about 10% chance of fatality after 30 days. What 
are these? They are two spheres of strong tim 90. But wouldn't that mean I'm being exposed to twice as much radiation as you did? Well, let me check. Well, that's my calculation. You are correct. It says you are exposed to four sieverts. How do you feel? Well, I appear to have similar effects to you. Nausea and vomiting. <coughs> He's bleeding internally. I'm losing hair all over my body. <laughs> Any other effects? <coughs> Got uncontrollable bleeding in the mouth and uh, under the skin. Well, if you were a woman, you'll likely become sterile at this point. What do you suppose my chances of dying are? Well, around 60% after 30 days. Well, I survived. That's great. Now to get on with the test. Here's some uranium-235. It's radioactive. Oh my god! You've been exposed to 80 sieverts of radiation! What's wrong? My bones feel weak. Your bone marrow is nearly or completely destroyed. You're gonna need a transplant. to massive diarrhea, likely due to cell death in his stomach and intestines. Most of the other symptoms are similar to before, but just more intense. The chances of living are almost zero. Any chance of survival would depend on intense medical care, and any recovery would take many, many years. Oh, Barry, are you ready for the next test? What's that? This is a high-level radiation accelerator. <laughs> Let me check your radiation on the guide camera. <laughs> Whoa! You're exposed to 16 civets! What are the effects? I got a bit of a headache, but I don't feel th that bad. This is known as the walking ghost phase, where the effects aren't felt. Seizures. He has intestinal bleeding with a massive loss of water. His circulatory system is beginning to break down. Death is inventable. The only thing we can do is now is ease the pain. Bro, would you like a Panadol? Okay, there's one more test we can do. A nuclear reactor that's about to melt down. Okay, whenever you're ready. Oh my god! He must have been exposed to over 50 sieverts of radiation. What are the effects, Fizz? He must be in a coma. His nervous system will collapse in a few hours, resulting in death. Whew! That last test was a close one. Yes, we've basically proven the somatic or physical effects of radiation are very harmful indeed. But radiation could also have genetic effects. Radiation could alter the DNA chromosomes of reproductive cells, which can be passed on to future generations. 
Genetic defects include poor limbs development and other abnormalities. These mutations could lay dormant for generations and then suddenly appear. Radiation can also be very damaging for unborn babies. That is why ultrasound is used rather than x-rays. Okay, with all our research and tests, we can say without a doubt that radiation is very harmful. Yeah, I don't know where this Mr. Waldo got this myth. Radiation is obviously very dangerous. I think we can put this to rest. Radiation being completely harmless. Busted! Busted.